All right, what's going on, guys? So I'm going to go back to Warzone once Warzone 2 drops. But since I'm shadow banned currently on Warzone 1, can't get more than 20 kills, hackers in my lobbies, all that fun stuff. I fucking love you, COD. So I figured I might as well level up the guns, get them ready, get all the attachments, some camos here and there, and just have them ready for when Warzone 2 drops. That way I can make a bunch of different gun class videos. I can use a bunch of different variations of different guns. And this way, when I level up the guns here in multiplayer, I can kind of give you an honest opinion of them throughout and then give you the class at the end of the video that I can consider to be the best for that gun fuck that was a lot of talk today we're gonna be doing the stb 556 here the aug like ar i have it at level 13 already i still got eight more levels to go so let's get right into it and max this thing out That was so gross. Did I just reverse dolphin dive through that door? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and I haven't really been able to talk to you guys. Been on MW2, give you my honest opinion yet. So why don't we talk about that a little bit? This game, and I mean this in the best way, is a... Uh, it's a dub in disguise. It's it's a good game, but it's it's being held back by all the little shitty things. What, what is this bunny doing? Guys, so the base game, really solid. I really like the guns. The movement is pretty good. feels clean. feels very similar to Modern Warfare 2019. And if you know me, you know I love that game. And Warzone, and it's the same kind of, you know, little feel. A little bit more evolved, but, you know, same kind of feel. Good. But let's talk about, more importantly, what went wrong here. So let's start with the bugs. Oh my god, bro. Those bugs were How does that make- The bugs were atrocious, man. Especially at launch. Um, you couldn't party up with anybody. The audio wasn't working. Game crashed. Um, the ping bug that gave everybody free walls if you pinged a guy at the right time. The veto inf- or the veto god mode glitch. Um, the current lunge method that, like, launches you out of the map with the car and then there's the care package lunch method that shoots your care package with you on top of it out of the map um there's a lot of bugs i could probably go on for a lot longer talking about all the bugs that were in this game off off uh, launch but that's just one of the negative aspects that was kind of just affecting the game negatively so that was not great um it just felt unfinished like the game felt like they really just did not close it out finish it out which is really confusing to me because they had an extra year to clean up this game the menu screen we all hate the menu screen it's terrible it's confusing the you like it just sucks the ui the user interface it's horrible trying to unlock weapons trying to figure out how to unlock weapons it's a nightmare and then you get maps that they're getting legal issues with like uh the museum map that doesn't come back because the museum wants money for that um I think the embassy map was having problems. Breenberg Hotel was having problems with that map because Breenberg Hotel, they didn't ask the actual hotel if they could use them in the game. And the F1 map is designed after an actual F1 map. So, or sorry, the F1 map is designed after an actual F1 track, which meant that they uh, can't use that as well in COD Pro Leagues. They still haven't figured that one out. I don't think COD Pros can use that because there's copyright issues. Guns, I don't really have a problem with the guns, other than all the snipers are like SBRs. I don't really have an issue with the guns in general. Time to kill, it's quick. Uh, again, I don't really think it's an issue. It seems pretty similar to Modern Warfare 2019. I know a lot of people really like to complain about it. I don't think it's that big of an issue. All right, so the next thing people have been complaining about with this game is the movement. And I've seen a lot of arguments with this, you know, oh, they turned it back and... Oh, it's helping the casuals, and casuals are 90 billion percent of the community. It's like the whole community's casuals. Everyone's a casual. Anyways, they take out, like, the main course live canceling. The only issue I have with this was I was... I thought that they had, um agreed that they were going to be putting in slide canceling as an actual mechanic in the game like i thought that's what they said a, a while ago uh, i'm not sure if i'm tripping on that or if somebody else maybe remembers that as well but anyways no slide canceling that's not too too bad uh the nerf to the b hop that was a little unexpected i'm not even gonna lie jesus fuck that dude just flicked on me and i think nerfing the movement i don't okay i don't think it was the right call and before everybody jumps on my balls and is like, ah, it's just because you're a sweaty content creator, you know, you fucking casuals make up 400% of the community. Um, I just think taking out... Oh, 
shit, bro. I think taking out the uh, slide canceling, and not even the slide canceling, man, more just like the bee hopping, but yeah, slide canceling too, it lowers the bar. So for people who want to constantly improve and want to always get better at the game, try and up their game, have that edge over other people, which I guess is the competitive, the sweaty, the casual, or the, the competitive, the sweaty, the content creators. It's mostly them. It's kind of a two-way two -way road. And I think that nerfing the movement kind of just really, like that was like an actual negative, like nerf onto good players, regardless of if it benefited the casuals or not. And I think there, there must've been a, like there had to have been a middle ground somewhere, you know, like add slide, you add slide canceling as an actual mechanic it makes it easier for casuals to do it rather than having to hit you know slide slide like jump you make it an actual mechanic in the game you make it easier to use more casuals will start to use it the game starts to get a little bit more sweaty just naturally because players just start to use that mechanic more i think the issue was they didn't even try to implement it for casuals and it causes a divide between the sweats and the casuals it causes arguments online as we've been seeing everywhere and I think there could have been a better middle ground. I think there could have been an area where um, the sweats and the casuals came to a happy conclusion for everybody. But but the bugs, the maps, the time to kill, the movement, all that shit aside. And I think we honestly got a very solid game. And that's what I mean by this game is a dub in disguise. Because I think it is being hurt by its own creators. And I'm going to be honest, as the COD community, with the recent news on how well this game did, that's just so much worse for the community. Dude, we literally, we were told that COD was going to be doing a two-year cycle. This was going to be our two-year COD game. Like, we were going to have to play this game for two straight years. Then this game drops, right? Ten days into this game, this game makes a billion dollars. Which is five days faster than Black Ops 2 did it and is now the fastest selling game of all time although with how esports is now and how big it is i would argue that the black ops 2 sales is way more impressive than this bullshit but anyways activision or fucking microsoft or whoever activision saw that shit and they saw a billion in 10 days and they were like holy fuck no way we're doing two-year cod cycles <laughs> we are we're gonna milk the shit out of our community and get as much money as possible and so and so they're not even dropping a new COD next year. It's a fucking $70 DLC bullshit add-on to this game. What are they going to add? Like three extra maps and a new gun and be like, pay full price? You stupid idiot. And you know what? I bet you we're all going to buy it. Anyways, I'm I'm just rambling at this point. That's that's my two cents on this game. It's got a, it's got a lot of potential. I, I really hope it does well. Um, but more importantly, we need Warzone 2 to do well. Hey, let's discuss Warzone 2 very briefly. So Warzone 2 dropping November 16th. It is the eighth today. We got eight days, just over a week, just over a week until that beautiful beautiful COD drops okay if it's has the similar time to kill as the bots with shield in the campaign okay i mean that's a really really high time to kill but i'm i'm happier with that more than i am with a aggressively quick time to kill you know i think just spawned behind me am i wow wow thanks cod thanks cod the spawns are great the good news that we do know for uh warzone 2 is that loadouts are coming back there were no loadouts in the first like get version of the game and we they heard that and they're putting loadouts in so they are I, I believe they're listening to the community which is really good to hear really good to hear the new circle in warzone 2 that's sick that's sick as fuck when it goes down and then like breaks up into three separate circles and then merges back into one final circle that's fucking nails because they're absolutely right that's just gonna make it so it's three separate gunfights, and then... That was a good shot. It's gonna be three separate fights in those three separate circles, and then the winners of those are gonna come into one big fight at the end, so it's gonna be, like, literally the best of the best fight it out at the last circle. Which is gonna be sick! Another similar thing to Blackout is, like, the shit we know has already been added to the... to the Warzone map. Which is, like, Terminal, High Rise, 
all those maps are all in the Warzone map. And we've seen that because, uh, actually, this map right here, if you zoom out of it in some glitch or something, like, this is part of the Warzone map. Shipment, too. Shipment's, like, on a boat on the side of the map. So it's giving off, like, heavy Blackout vibes. You know, where, like, Blackout had all those other, like, vintage maps posted up around the map that made it playable. And we know that the DMZ mode is also going to be on that map. So I honestly think that the DMZ and the Warzone mode are going to carry this shit. Like, I think this is going to be really, really good. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to do content on it and just get better at it. What's really nice about a new game is that it's like a fresh playing field. So everybody's on the same level right off the start. Obviously, like playing this game, you're going to get used to the mechanics and that good stuff. Also, top of the team, I'm just fucking goaded. Yep. All right, well, you know, now that we got the rant out of the way on my opinion on MW2 and the future of Warzone 2, let's talk about the actual gun I'm supposed to be using here, or I've been using. So this gun, its movement's not great, but I, I didn't really expect that out of an AR. That kid is just way back there, huh? Um, it's time to kill is really good. It's repo, pretty solid. My only issue with it right now is probably the mag size and the recoil, but... Um, Max size has got to hit a reload pretty quick. But it does hit hard, so I mean, if you're good with it, you should be okay. It's honestly a pretty good option. Oh, that could have been sick. I think that was 18. I really like this gun, honestly. Once you kind of get the recoil down, game gets it gets way better. Man, you can level this up so fast and kill. That's crazy. Alright, let's finish this gun out. It's probably going to be the last game, I imagine. I'm at 19 out of level 21 here. Unless I do terrible, but... This is probably going to be the last game. I'm doing pretty terrible right now. Opinions, concerns? I'm excited to level up some guns and talk to you guys some more, to be completely honest. You do really have to ADS every single corner, eh? Like, the ADS time is so atrocious. Also, nerfing the ADS time mid-jump, I don't... I don't know what that is about, but... Holy shit, I didn't even miss a bullet there. Oh, that would have been the quad! I could have kept going, too. That could have been so cool. Don't worry, but episode 3, 11 of these guns, it's gonna be like, just straight quad fees. That's all it's gonna be. Oh no. Oh no. And that's to get level 21. What a way to finish that out. God damn, was that hot. I still went negative? Every time, bro. <laughs> Quickly, before we get into the class, I know you guys have been waiting for this the entire video, but let me know if you guys have been playing MW2, what are your thoughts and opinions on it so far now that I just ranted mine to you. So here's what I decided to rock by the end of this using the STB. So I had to throw on this 42 round mag for starters because one of the biggest issues with this gun really is the ammo. You have to reload a lot. For the muzzle, I threw on the Tread 40 here and then I tuned it to try and make the recoil as easy to control as possible while also making the aiming idle stability a little bit easier. For my barrel i threw on the 508 rear guard here and then i tuned it to try and make the recoil again easier to control but this time i tried to buff that ads speed i definitely think you need an optic on this gun now with any gun class video any cod throw whatever optic you want on the gun i threw on the cronin mini red dot here and then again, I tried to help that ADS speed just a little bit because I didn't want to affect the flinch resistance too much. But here you can see what I did there. And honestly, I think it's really beneficial. I think the ADS speed is a lot better with these adjustments. And finally, for the rear grip, I threw on the Stip 40 grip here. And then I tuned it just to help with the recoil and the sprint to fire speed. Again, making that ADS speed just a little bit quicker, but also helping that recoil as much as I can. It fries. It definitely fries. If you guys haven't tried out this gun, you're not really sure what class you want to run with it. Give this one a shot. Try it out. I promise 
you. You'll be frying kids. No problem whatsoever. Let me know what gun you guys want me to do next. If you're looking for a specific gun to get a class setup on, maybe it's the Fennec, maybe it's the 74U, some of those broken guns. Just let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, rest of your week. I'm excited for Warzone 2. Can't wait for that. So I'm going to have some more videos coming out just before that. But then we're back into that Warzone grind. I love you guys. Take her easy. Peace.